Andy Bickelbaum and Mike Bonanno are the Yes Men who use pranks and humor to battle social injustice and environmental degradation. They've produced a great many red faces among the corporate elite and gales of laughter all over the world. Yeah, our, our immediate goal is to bring sharp attention to certain issues as, as much as possible. Um, but in the, in the long term, yeah, to, to change what people talk about, um, to, to get, to change or, you know, augment what people are already talking about. So sometimes there will be an issue that people are talking about, like the fact that U.S. corporations pay no taxes often. And we'll just do a little thing that enables some journalists to talk more about that um, with the hope that our work as well as the work of thousands of other activists gets these messages into the culture so that when the time comes that thing, change can happen, it does, that people are ready to see it happen. And you know, when that time is, who knows, it's, it differs at different times, like there are moments when suddenly you can change the law and if people are ready to do that, ready to exert pressure the way they need to exert it, and ready to imagine the law being different, then it can happen. So, yeah, preparing the culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've you set up, tell me about the Yes Lab, and, and, uh, and it occurs to me that this would be, this is not an easy, this is not easy stuff to, uh, uh, to pass on to other people to do, is it? It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, there's a few tricks. Uh, it's not that hard to pass it on because, um, uh, yeah, once you learn how to write a press release, learn uh, the basic idea, which is just doing something funny, uh, but, you know, sort of that has some layers of complexity so that journalists can write about it and dig their teeth into it and explain the whole story and have fun doing so. That's basically what we do. Mm -hmm. So there's different inflections of that and different ways to, to do that, use different techniques. But we find that when we explain these things to people, you know, the show a range of examples of us, our, our examples as well as others' examples of having done funny actions to get attention for things, they pick it up pretty quickly and um, come up with their own ideas. And uh, so for the last year, I've been at NYU in New York, uh, the Hemispheric Institute, and we have, it's a, an institute for art and politics in the Americas. And we basically, every Friday, we brainstorm actions and work on actions with a group of students and local activists who kind of help the students do things and we help the students and the activists figure out what they need to do in order to accomplish actions around their issues. And do they actually go and do them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there have been uh, two so far as of right now and uh, there's another two that are in progress and will probably happen within a, a month or so. So that's four, four in one year. We've tried to do, um, you know, distance kind of We've, we've tried to give away our secrets on the web and say this is how you get invited to conferences, this is how you write a press release, but we found it didn't actually take. Mm -hmm. um, people want to be told that it's okay, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, responsible adults do this, you can do it too. Um, a lot of it is what you brought up about fear. You know, people think they'll get in trouble and they just need somebody to say no you won't get in trouble. And we've written that down a number of times, but it's not the same as when you show up in person and explain the whole thing and answer questions. Andy Bickelbaum of the Yes Men, whose humor and imagination show another way to fight injustice and environmental degradation. For The Green Interview, I'm Silver Donald Kemp. See you next time.